Hi friends, you might be surprised to know that small little changes that we bring to our life can have tremendous impact on the carbon footprint and ultimately on the global warming and the climate change. So how can you reduce your carbon footprint and how can you go carbon neutral? So going carbon neutral is ultimate aim but at least to reduce the carbon footprint small changes in our life can do it. So in this video I'm going to say you some small little bit of tricks that I have been using to reduce my carbon footprint over the years. This video is all about the clothes and how do you exercise your choice while making what kind of clothes to buy and how to iron the clothes. So that is what I'm going to cover in this video. As you might know that while buying the clothes, most of the clothes that I buy are clothes like this, synthetic material. And it doesn't need any ironing at all because most of the synthetic, uh, you know, the clothes are basically wrinkle free or wrinkle resistant. So it's always better to choose a cloth that is wrinkle resistant so you can totally avoid the ironing at all. Of course, I do have cotton clothes with me, cotton shirts, for example, for which uh, traditionally this is the option, the iron, right? That is what we all follow. So if you look at this carefully, none of this ironing is perfect. I mean, of course, it is good for pressing nicely to have a nice crease, you know, but energy efficient point of view, iron is really bad. It takes up a lot of energy and it is not really good for low carbon footprint. If you look at carefully the backside, what I'm having is an ore pad. So ore pad is having 1200 watt. So this is the wattage of this 1200. It's quite, uh, it takes up a lot of energy. So instead of ironing, there is another method. I don't know why many of Indian households are not following that method at all. Though it is equally efficient and equally good. This method, this is being hidden inside this box is what I'm suggesting to you to try it out. So as let us open and see it, what is inside. So as you can see that this is, you know, this is a steamer. It's not that expensive. The steamer is actually much cheaper than a standard iron. So as you can see that this is basically a, a clothes steamer, uh, which I bought from the Amazon. And the wattage of this one, as you can see below here is 375 watts. So 375 means almost 3.2 times energy efficient. If you look at electrical items, wattage is directly corresponding to the environmental impact. So if the wattage is higher, environmental impact is also higher. So the carbon footprint is also higher. So always look to reduce the wattage of any electrical equipment, right? So for example, the bulb. So if, the, if you compare CFL, you know, the compact fluorescent lamp with incandescent lamp, compact fluorescent lamp is so much lesser in wattage as well as the energy. Now, if you compare CFL with LED lamps, LED is far, far better. So it's always better to change all CFL in your house with LED bulb to reduce your carbon footprint. So look at this. This might not be as perfect as an iron, but it is absolutely fine with me in every day. You know, I work in a university, I teach there. So the clothes that I press is with this, it's much faster, much convenient, and it saves a lot of energy, lots of money. Plus my carbon footprint is also very less. Let us steam the clothes together, come with me. So using any kind of steamer is relatively very easy. All you have to do is that just open the top, pour the water up to the level, it's already graduated. There's a max mark in here. So put the, the water in it and then the close the top properly. That's This is very important. You know, unless you close it properly, then the steam can escape through, uh, you know, the, the top. So you just have to close it very nicely and then plug it to an electric socket, right? And then this elect the button will be going off and that is the time to use the steamer. As you can see from here, the steams will come out and just steam your clothes. That's all. As you can see the steam is coming up here, so all I have to do is that this clothes over this, this way, so it's really really simple than ironing. Ironing takes really a lot of time and I never enjoy ironing in my life. It's much easier to steam the clothes to have the, you know, the wrinkle free thing. So it is really that easy. Look at this. Uh, I don't know, though it is really that easy, none of the households follow this. And though it is very easy, it, you know, it is much more, it's much more energy efficient as well. So energy efficiency, as I told you, correspond directly with 
the carbon footprint. So if you really want to save a lot of carbon footprint from your life, if you really want to achieve the carbon neutral lifestyle, so you know all you have to do is that you know you can just use a steamer instead of using an iron and also you can save a lot of time so that you can use your time uh, more productively so for other purpose than this mundane work like steaming uh, you know or ironing the clothes so you can work more productively like uh, making nice youtube videos like what i'm doing now you know thanks for watching i hope you like this video if you like this video please click the like button below as well as don't forget to subscribe it have a nice day